Welcome back, everybody, to Gold Rush. I'm an old guy gaming, and it is moving day. Well, actually, more like putting stuff away day. <laughs> uh, and uh, we are finished on old Arnold, so if you didn't catch the last couple of episodes, um, the, yeah, we're finished on old Arnold. <laughs> and so it is, we are now packing stuff up. We have stored all of our... Um, machinery, uh, our plant equipment, I guess I should say, that we are going to use at Nighthawk. Everything that's left here in the way of plant equipment, we're going to actually sell because we have upgraded. So specifically the trommel and the two uh, planters. Um, and then the rest of it is just going to, we're going to just pack it up and, and haul it uh, to, probably haul it to Nighthawk or... I don't know. Maybe we'll store it here. Yeah, I haven't decided that yet. We'll probably haul it to Nighthawk. I think that's what we're going to do. So I just, we've got, there's so much to do. I'm not even sure where to start, to be honest with you. But we should, um, yeah, we should probably get started by, you know, getting all the lines and the hoses up and coiled and that sort of thing. Um, we we need to get, you know, the, the wave table and the magnetite separator and the nug nuggetators, all that stuff picked up and loaded up and out of the way so we can get in here with the backhoe to get uh, the excavator, sorry, uh, to pick this stuff up and then we're going to sell it. So um, I guess that means we should load up the pickup truck with, and also get the, the trailer on the pickup truck and just see how much we can get in there. Now, do I need the dump truck for any reason whatsoever? I want You know what? I'm going to try something. I just want to try something here. I'd really like to use this to help move our stuff. Um, but the problem is it's, it's really hard to get stuff inside of it because it's so high off the ground. But I wonder if we could maybe get oh actually i got an idea what if we okay what if we back it up to here here let's get the let's get these buckets out of the way <laughs> I was trying to throw it in there. Um, I wish we could. There we go. I think I got it in there. All right. So let's also, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to back right up next to this bank so we can walk up on the bank and then put the stuff inside. So let's get the wave table out of the way first. Uh, we need to disconnect the lines from that and pick this up and just set it over here for the moment and likewise we'll do the same thing here with the magnetite separator and the nuggetator Let's disconnect this. I'm just trying to get it, get them all out of the way at, at the moment. I'm not trying to coil everything up quite yet. Well, I guess we coiled that one up, didn't we? Okay. Well, that works too. I guess these are really short hoses, so. And then let's get this out of the way. These cords are going to be a little bit longer, but we could at least wind them up to here for now. Okay, so that gives us some room. Now what we're going to do is let's hop in here. Get in there. And I want to... 
back up to it like this. Okay. Now, we should be able to get this stuff in the back. Now, I've mentioned this before, but I'm not worried about unloading because unloading we just tip the, the bed back up and be done with it. Ah, look at that. Okay, cool. Okay. The smaller stuff, you know, we can get in the pickup and on the trailer, but these little bit larger items that we also have to transport, it makes a lot more sense to put them in the back of here. Oh, will that just go in there? Yep, it did. All right, now we'll do a nugget nugget tater. Oh, well, I guess I don't know though, is this actually in there? Hmm. Oh, we have to disconnect this one too. Alright, we got that done. And take the hose off of here. I just hope this stuff actually will stay in there though. I don't know if it's gonna glitch out when we start driving. We'll have to test it. Okay. Jump up and drop in. I doubt we're gonna be able to get it in here neatly, but if we can just get it in here. Alright, it looks like it's in here. Okay. So let's um Let's hop out. What about putting in these guys? You get the hog pans in there too. And yeah, let's get the hog pans in. And then we'll then we'll take it for a test drive to see if everything is stable. I want the tray itself. Nope. Give me the tray. Oh, okay. Can you not? Oh, I know what the problem is. Uh, we need to disconnect this. And okay, now we can pick up the hog pen itself. Can I glitch it through there? Yeah, I can. Look at that. Okay. And then we can pick this whole thing up with the mats and everything inside of it. I cannot see what I'm doing. Um... Come around here. All right, now let's try this one. That's in there. Disconnect the hose. Can we glitch the hog pen, this hog pen in? Yep. And then grab the whole thing here. Can we glitch that in the back? Uh, sort of. Trying to pick these buckets up. Pick up. There we go. Okay, so let's... Uh, is our water on? Not that it matters. We're done with the water here. Not. Still don't want to waste it, though. Yeah, it is on. I hear it. I hear a motor running. 
It's not this motor because that's out of fuel. That must just be. It's not. It's not this, is it? No, because that's. I haven't run that in forever. Okay, whatever. Not worried about it. Now, let's see if we can drive this without all this stuff glitching out. Ooh, look at that, you guys. Look at that. It looks... Well, you know what, though? Mm, the thing about it is it's not... Eh. It's not really technically in there like it would be in there if this was, like, the pickup. Because when stuff gets in the pickup... Once it's truly in the pickup, it's, it's locked in place. Whereas this stuff is still kind of flopping around. That doesn't mean we could, it still won't work. We're just going to have to... <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to really keep an eye on it and make sure it doesn't fall out. I remember popping up here and kind of looking into... Yeah, okay. Hmm. Yeah, that's probably going to fall out again when we move. Maybe. Oh, now that fall out. Up oh, fall out. Yeah, that fall out. I don't know if this is going to work, you guys. I don't know if this is going to work. It's kind of too bad because it would have been great to be able to haul this stuff in here. Let's just, let's drive it up into the yard. But we're going to be going over rough terrain, hitting bumps, going around curves. And uh, I don't know how well it's going to hold up. Well, it's kind of staying in there right now. I hit a tree. If we just... If we really keep an eye on it, we might be able to make this work. Uh, but the thing is, is, I don't want to get halfway there and then have it, like, majorly glitching on us is all. The thing that concerns me the most is the, is this. It just does not want to get in there. Glitch it in like that. Oh, okay. And now this is trying to fall out. Well, let's try it and see what happens. This is a very narrow... What? Can I seriously not drive through this? We must have the dump truck delivered out here then. We can't get through here, you guys. It's not letting me through. Well, so much for that idea. Um, I don't think it's going to let us drive up around here. Oh, there goes the thing. Yeah, see, it stops us right there. There's like an invisible wall, and everything's falling out. Well, it was worth a try. It was worth a try. Now we're driving over everything. Okay, well, I'm going to just um, put this over by the shed for the moment then. You are going to come out, right? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> All right. You know, this is more trouble than it's worth, actually. I dare say that it is. Okay, well, yeah, let's just put this stuff along here for now 
and uh, we'll just, we're just going to have to haul it in the pickup truck and trailer. Because we can't even get the dump truck off the claim. We're going to have to use the transport service. Which means we're going to be making more than one trip. Well, I figured we would make be making more than one trip too, but now we have to make more than even two or three or four trips. I think. I don't know. We'll see how, how it uh, loads up. Ice is thawed and the water's flowing again. That's wonderful. Okay, so we'll get this other hog pen here. Or no, this is the magnetite separator. I don't think we left anything else over here, did we? Nope. All right, we're good. And we had one, I think we only had the one bucket in there, so. Okay, so the dump truck is pretty much useless to us. We can have it transported back to, uh, into storage. I was just hanging on to it in case, you know, we could have possibly used it for hauling, but we can't. And for that matter, we don't really need the front loader anymore either, but we do need the backhoe, uh, excavator <laughs> until we get, uh, that's the that machinery back over to the cell area okay so let's um turn the lights off in here and we're just going to call out the delivery dudes with the with the low boy trailer and have them get our dump truck and our front loader transport move your machines okay so i want to move the front end loader to Nighthawk. Uh, wait, do I? No, 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 no. That's not what we want to do. We want to move it into storage. Because if I move it out to Nighthawk, then I have to find a place to store it out there. Of course, if we move it out to Nighthawk, we only have to move it once, but... I don't, man, I don't know if there's enough room in the shed for an excavator, a dump truck, and a front loader. Let's go look at it. Okay, so this building is also on Nighthawk. You know, we we might be able to get all that stuff in there, actually. Yeah, I'll bet you we can. I mean, I think that's what this building's for anyways. Is it insulated? I don't know. <laughs> we have to assume that it is. Okay, well, if, if we if we transport directly to Nighthawk, then we don't have to pay two transport fees. One for storage and then another one to bring it out there in the spring. Um, so why don't we do that? I think we'll do that. So we'll transport the dump truck and the front loader there now. And then we'll do the excavator after we are finished using it here. All right, so transport. Um, oh, we can move these things too. Oh, that's going to be useful. That's going to be super useful. The question is, we'll be able to get it all stored out there. Hmm. I don't know. I guess we could transport it all out there, try and cram it all in. If there are a few things that don't fit, we just put, take them back to storage. It'll cost a little more, but if we can get them all to fit, it'll cost a little less. Okay, so now that we have um, determined that, let's go ahead and move the dump truck and the front end loader, the big power generator, the big diesel water pump 
we want to keep the big excavator mobile fuel tank see this already cost us eight thousand dollars goodness mobile water tank we need it uh old arnold's tra trommel and the planters were selling and we need to keep the excavator and we need to keep the trailer all right well 9500 bucks to do that but yeah let's do it okay Wow, that was easy. That was super easy. Okay, cool. Very cool. All right, let's grab um let's get the this little stuff out of the way for now. We will be taking it, of course, but uh, I want to get the plant two planters and the trommel out of here next. Okay, so let's jump in here. Yeah, this is a lot easier to do than I was expecting it to be. This is the first time I've ever, you know, moved anything like this. So, oh, we need, we need chains. Here. Cut this, or turn this back off. All right, so let's grab, oh, one of our grills fell out of the thingy. Just set that on top of there for now. All right, let's grab you and run over here. Oh, actually, you know what? I think I, well, we need to run this over there anyway. So this all needs to be recycled. Will that fit in there? Nope. Okay. We need to get, grab the, the chains, which I have all on a table over here. All right, um, this button actually isn't completely broken. How, how is it? Six percent? Nah, not worth keeping. We'll throw that there. That one is broken. We've got um, some old equi or equipment for older machinery that we no longer have in there that we need to uh, deal with too. Okay, so let's grab four short cables. Um, actually that's, this is a longer one. So we want the, yeah, these ones that are kind of folded like a bow. Those are the shorties. Can we see what kind of shape these are in? No, we can't. Okay. All right. So that gives us four of those. While we're here, we don't need these duplex jig pumps. So let's throw those over there. And we don't need the the trommel rollers because that's for the tier three trommel. So all of this stuff in here. Just gonna toss the whole crate there. Here I thought I was being efficient by ordering extra parts, but we ended up upgrading before. They went bad again, but I did have to replace these pumps multiple times on the tier three setup. All right. Uh, I don't think there's anything else in here that we no longer need. So let's get rid of this stuff. Uh, we want to sell everything in here except for the transport crate. Wow. Look at that. 4,600 bucks back. Nice. That was more money than I was expecting. Um, okay, so let's keep, let's just keep you right there, and we'll take these cables back. And this one. Let's just move you out of the way. Okay. 
Looks pretty good. Let's just lower you down a little bit. Steel cable is too short. Oh, you know what else I need to do too is I need to disconnect this. And we need to remove the buckets too. There we go. All right, I guess we have to lower down a little more. Okay, so we want this cable here to connect to you and we want this cable here to connect to you we should make a little bit of money off of these oh man i'm stuck get out of there there we go All right, and you go there, and you, if I can get to you, should go right here. All right. Let's see, go to digging mode for a minute, lift that up a little higher, and then back to driving mode. Uh, let's go this way. Okay. Um, we only want to sell the planter. Oh, look at that. We're going to get 110000 bucks back from this? Wow. That is way more money than I was expecting to get back from that. That's like over three times more money than the excavator's worth. Okay. I'm not complaining. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that was great and we have another one to sell too fantastic man uh all right let's get you back up in the air and straighten you up just a little bit and go grab the other one Okay, let's sell this one. That is a nice chunk of change, man. We're already up to 470,000 bucks again. All right, I think we're gonna go after the trauma from the top. Uh, I don't know if I can do that with the short chains, but we're gonna find out. I don't remember what I did when I put it in there. Let's get the pickup out of the way. Got a couple other items here too. Just throw them over there for now, I guess. That is that bad. Four percent, pretty much. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so we want to trash that, and we want to trash this D Rocker jet. It's bad. Um, unless the mechanics worked on it at all. 4%? Nope. Not enough. 
Not enough. All right, we got all these cables up here in the way. We need to drive right up to here. So let's get the junction box out of the way. We'll just put that over here for now. And, uh, oh, I've got a, I've got a cable right there. Couldn't see it w without the snow on the ground. All right, let's disconnect and start working on, well, actually, no. Oh, I got more cables on the ground. Huh, okay. I actually don't want to um, coil all of these up just yet. We can do this one, though, because it's not going to take too long, or at least we'll coil it up to, to here so it's out of the way. Another cable. Man, what the heck, dude? <laughs> Your cable's all over the place. But like I said, it's really easy to lose them on the on the normal ground, you know, the dirt, because they just kind of blend in. Well, you know what? Maybe I will coil these up, but we got to do it anyway, and they're in the way. So, yeah, let's just get these all coiled up here real quick. Okay, I think that cleans up all the cables and all the loose stuff except for the buckets. Uh, which we will also be grabbing, of course. Um, unfortunately, I can't uh, grab them all and stack them up and carry them like you could in real life, so it'll be a one thing at a time. But there's enough of them down here that'll probably drive down here and pick them up. Uh, but everything else should be picked up as far as the cables, the hoses, the connections, that sort of thing. Uh, so let's hop in here and get this trommel taken care of. wonder how much we'll get for this. Probably not as much as the planters. Well, maybe we will. I don't know. We shall see. Okay, so let's... Bring that down to maybe there, and that down to there. Okay, let's try that. Um, okay, so we want... That connector to go here. Right, because the connections on these are kind of in the center. So we should be able to make this work if I can get to everything. Um, I maybe have to get up on top of it. It likes to spin too. Okay, I got that one, and this final one goes right here. Got it. All right. Hopefully nothing breaks. Um, all right, let's lift it up. And back it on out of here. I think it's going to clear. Yeah, should be good. Okay. There's another cable down there. How did it get to be 4 p.m.? Did I not set the time back? I didn't. Oh, man. I was going to say, why is it getting dark already? 
I started, I started this in the morning. Uh, apply back. All right. Well, it's all right. Doesn't matter too much, I guess. It kind of does. I mean, I didn't want to be doing this in the dark, but what can you do? I mean, we could even, we have seven days. We could even just sleep again until in the morning, which we may actually do. All right, let's drop you down. All right, so let's um, turn you off. And these should just fall into a pile right here once we have them come and pick it up. Yeah, we get over 100000 for this, too. Nice. We're up to $521,000, you guys. It's like, uh, um, what was I going to say? I don't know. I just lost my train of thought. I don't know what I was going to say. But, yeah, here's another cable. Don't think we'll have to buy cables ever again. I mean, I would have some of them snap, but it's like they didn't actually get destroyed or something. I don't know. Really weird. Mini Hoosel, we are now finished with the excavator. So let's go to transport and big excavator to Nighthawk parcel. And you know what we should have done? I didn't even think about this. We should have stored the big power generator. There's no way we're going to fit that inside along with everything else. Um, so let's, I know this is going to cost me extra money because I just didn't think about it, but let's transport the big power generator into storage. I think we probably can get everything else stored out there. Um, okay, so move your machines and it is a done deal. Oh, do we have a, a new worker available? I think we do. Uh, awaiting. Nope, never mind, we don't. Okay. This is fantastic, man. I was not expecting to have a quarter uh, or a half a million dollars from selling that stuff. That'll give us a nice little bump. We are going to have to lease the the drill, of course. That'll be the first thing on the agenda. In fact, I might even if I can get away with it, I might see if I can drill in the winter, at least before the permafrost sets in. So we'll see. Um, the other thing, too, just FYI for you guys, when I drilled here on old Arnold, at the time, I decided that I wasn't going to take the nuggets. Um, because I thought it was a little bit OP. I no longer think that. No, now knowing how this game works and how grindy it is and how long it takes to advance, uh, we are going to take the nuggets from drilling on Nighthawk. And in doing so, we might be able to even, you know, get everything upgraded to Tier 5 before we even start digging, which then means we're going to be getting maximum gold. We'll see. Um, you know, we have the we have the Glacier Creek wash plant to buy which is over a million dollars by itself and then you know we're going to want to be buying frankensteins too and i think those are like three hundred thousand a pop or something they're very expensive okay so we aside from the buckets i think we have everything pretty much cleared out so now the next step is to start loading up the pickup and the trailer so let's jump in the truck here And we're going to go pick up the trailer and bring it over here and start loading this stuff up. And we'll just see how much we can we can get in there. I'm not under any illusion that we're going to be able to do this in one trip. Well, actually, yeah, there's absolutely no way we're going to do it in one trip because we got all that stuff out there, too. <laughs> this is going to happen.
And we even have some stuff in here. Yeah, we've got so much crap. Okay. Um... Let's, uh, can we, is there even any point in trying to organize this at all, or should we just dump it in and let it fall where, where it falls? There's a D-Rocker hose. We want to keep that because we are still using the D-Rocker. That's a spare Nuggetator belt. That's a spare excavator tooth. Um, all right, what else do we have over here? We got some more electric cords. We want all of those. I don't know with a new setup if we're going to need even more connections than we already had. So we're going to hang on to all of this just in case. It wants to keep floating back up. Um, this is a power extender. We'll take it in case we need it. These are water hose extenders. Like little couplers. I want to see if I can get the big stuff in that. Mobile generator cooler. Okay, and so here's the thing. We got two mobile generators and... Or sorry, one mobile generator, two mobile pumps. I haven't used that stuff since we were into tier two. Um, so I guess the question is, do we really need that? It is possible that we might need a little extra juice somewhere. Um, so I'm kind of inclined to keep them for now. We are really getting full there, aren't we? All right, what's this? That's a trommel chain. That was for the tier three tr trommel, so we don't need this. We can sell this. In fact, I don't even remember having to replace anything on the old Arnold Trommel. This is a D-Rocker jet, which we do want to keep. Yeah, that stuff's starting to get a little wonky. This is a planter hose, which we don't need anymore, so we'll sell that. That was a spare hose that I brought because they did break down a few times on me. All right. This is a wash plant engine fan belt. We do want that because that goes to the conveyor. Those are filters for the water pumps. This is a mobile wash plant jet, which we don't need. So we're cleaning things up, man. Cleaning house. Spring cleaning in the winter. That's what this is. What is this? That's a fuel filter. What... Takes a fuel filter. I don't know, but we better keep it. Probably one of our vehicles. That's a wash plant spring. We don't need that. Those would also break on me. And what are these? These are cogs for a bulldozer. Because we don't have our own bulldozer, and when we, if, if and when we do get it again, we're just going to lease it. I'm just going to sell these. And then if we have to buy them again later, we have to buy them again later. I bought extra because I thought we were going to need them, but we didn't. So we'll just sell those back. All right. So that just leaves those items there, which I think, like I said, I'm going to hang on to. For now. And we already cleared everything out of here that we wanted to sell. I'm going to keep all the cables. All right. So let's uh, sell all this stuff. 1400 bucks there. Okay. Nice. All right. We might have to come back for this stuff. A little. See if we can scooch the little stuff in there. I'm sure we're going to reach some kind of a limit here pretty soon as to what we can keep putting in here. Can we even do this? Yep, it's all in there. Okay. So let's pull this out to here now and see 
what kind of stacking job we can do with this big stuff. So let's grab the big nuggetators first. Any chance those will fit this way? It does not look like it. Okay, so what we're going to do is put that in like so. Now, do we have enough width to do that? No, we don't. All right, turn it. I don't suppose we could straddle this, could we? Oh, maybe if it's stable. Yep, it's locked in place. Okay. Let's grab this and... Can we do that? Nope. That's not going to work. They're pushing each other out. All right, well, we're just going to have to bring the wavetable and the magnetite separator in a separate trip. Let's see if we can uh, get those to go down underneath. No, it doesn't like it, does it? Hmm. Let me put it right on the very back. No. <laughs> Water source is frozen over. Okay, here, let's take this back off. And can we put you in there and you here? And then put this on top. It seems to be locked. Yep, it is. All right. Any chance we could, oh man, I can't see, Get you on there somehow? Um, only wants to turn like that. No, I don't think that's going to work. Well, let's grab this anyway. Should be able to fit that in there. Probably isn't going to let us get this in anywhere. Unless we can get it right on the side here. Oh, I think that's locked. Nice. Okay. You know, if that's going to lock there... What about this, then? Okay. I think that'll work. All right, you guys. Well, I think we have a full load. I mean, I don't... Uh I don't know if it would be wise for us to try and cram anything else in here. Maybe we could try and throw a bucket up in there, I suppose. Watch the whole thing just come unraveled now because we've reached the limit. Nope, it's still in there. Okay. We don't have anything else over here that's smallish. Yeah, it's definitely locked in place <laughs> after that bump. It's not going anywhere. All right. Uh, here, let's get these hoses coiled.
One of these hoses runs all the way to the creek, so we're going to have to get that taken care of. I think it's this one here. Yep. Fortunately, it didn't freeze it in place there. I don't think it would have done that anyway, but it would have in real life. Excuse me. Okay, that takes care of that. Now, um, excuse me, I'm just looking for maybe a couple of other little things we could push our luck with a little more. And you know what? Let's actually save the game too. So this is going to be episode 32, I think. So that way, if something does blow up, we can reload.